coming up next, I'm gonna tell you my favorite, I would say my favorite coffee and or gourmand fragrance. It's one that I've had a sample for years and now actually the full bottle is available here at Osme, so I'm so psyched to be smelling it again because I ran out a long time ago. Stay tuned to find out what it is coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose here at Osme Perfumery in Miami. And so excited today to talk about a fragrance that I first smelled probably three or four years ago, soon after it came out. This fragrance came out in 2017. It is from the Italian house Cartusia. And the fragrance is, I've got it off here in the distance without further ado, is Terra Mia. Terra Mia from Cartusia. Love the bottle. It's like a, it's kind of almost like an art deco looking bottle because it's clear glass, but simple, but yet kind of uh, ornate all at the same time. And again, this is a fragrance that I first smelled. Uh, Maurice had given me a sample uh, of this fragrance. I had like a, probably like a f three to five milliliter sample. And I was, this thing was gone very quickly. What I like about this, what makes it so unique is this is one of, I think, the best gourmand fragrances that's definitely come out in the last, you know, five years or so. This came out again, 2017, so it's about five years old now uh, as far as the release. But the perfumer behind it also, what's very cool is Luca Maffi. This guy is a legend in perfumery. He's written one of the most fascinating books on the science of smell and the molecules and, and, and how uh, it possibly, how our brains uh, interpret smells. It's an alternative theory. Some scientists believe it, some don't, but However you look at it, Luca Maffi is one of the best, most respected perfumers out there who doesn't just make perfumes, but gets into the science behind it. So when he makes a perfume, something that I always take notice of. Notice of. This one, again, Terra, for, or Terra Mia, uh, My Earth, is a fragrance that starts out with and in fact, I just sprayed it. I'm gonna spray it again, just so you guys can see my reaction here. It is, it starts out with this hint of neroli and pink pepper. It gives a little bit of a spicy quality, but right off the bat, this is to me an exquisite coffee fragrance. It's also got some rose in there orange blossom, which again kind of mixes with that neroli that, that gives it a, a little bit of an orangey citrus feel. So think about this in terms of, of a gourmand fragrance, a gourmand fragrance being something that is, that is like almost edible tasting or smelling. And what, I, what makes this so unique is you have that neroli and orange blossom combined with the coffee, and there's also a note of hazelnut in here. So that all combined is like almost this like beautiful, like almost like chocolatey hazelnut dessert fragrance. Uh, and it's got vanilla, it's got, what else is, oh, actually hold the bottle up for you here. It's got vanilla, it's got amber, it's got musk. So you have all the elements of traditional kind of fragrance mixed with this coffee, hazelnut, and orange blossom, and rose notes that make it into this fragrance that you just like, I could picture myself sitting in a French cafe or an Italian cafe, drinking this beautiful coffee. Or, if you really wanna take it even a step further as to, as to the gourmand quality, it actually reminds me of a there's a specific type of cafe or latte where they mix around the rim. Have you ever seen this? Nutella. You know the chocolate hazelnut spread Nutella that's very famous in Europe and of course, well, all around the world. This has that type of quality. I'm literally picture, picturing sitting, sitting in a cafe in Rome with this delicious coffee latte 
rounded with around the edge of the cup Nutella, that chocolate hazelnut spread. Picture that, and that's what you have here. It is really delicious. It's great on the skin. It's perfectly unisex. Uh, as far as the quality of the fragrance, Cartusia is a wonderful house. Get to know it. If you haven't smelled it that much already, they have a, a lot of really wonderful offerings. But um, what I like, again, about this one is it is a gourmand that is not a, sometimes for me, gourmand fragrances are not great on my skin and I don't particularly always love gourmand. They're a little bit too sweet. This is not a sweet gourmand. This is a, almost like a bittersweet gourmand. Again, think of that kind of hazelnut, Nutella, coffee, chocolate combination with the rose in there. So if that sounds intriguing to you, which I hope it does because it's something that I love, Get your nose on it, try it, let me know what you think. Again, this is, without a doubt, my favorite coffee gourmand fragrance that I've ever smelled, and it's a classic. You know, even though it's only come out in the last five years, to me, this is a classic. So, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this one? Have you gotten your nose on it before? Have you worn it? Is it in your collection? Do you wanna add it to your collection? Let me know your thoughts and let me know some other ones that you love in that kind of coffee gourmand category. I'll be back soon with another video, of course. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Peace, love, and perfumes.